So in order to solve that issue that just mentioned here, okay, by using, for example, if we don't use the H2 database for our tests, the first approach may be uh, people will think, okay, let me just, for example, create a new test configuration and set up a different database for uh, my tests, right? Because Spring Batch always need a database. It's not like other use case that you are implementing tests or something like that. Spring Batch will need always a database. And you can have it, for example, by uh, setting, as I just did here, and uh, adding the dependency of H2. But if you want a real database, not embedded database, the first thing that can come in your mind is to have a new environment, okay, which contain a database for tests, okay, and it's not very good, okay. We are not talking about, for example, uh, some, uh, let me say, uh, other kind of tests, right, like integration tests. Even integration tests, we will see in the next video how we can do that by using test containers. But for now, let's keep our test here okay now that we tested the, the 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 good case okay let's also test for example when um, the the we, we we process a file and it fails how we can uh, test it so in that order let me just very quickly create here a new test okay let's call it by should fail should fail when uh, let's suppose um, input file okay contains invalid um, data okay so for that example we could once again i like to do this like this so we should use once again the given when and then approach so just using the same approach here the given when then so given a directory with invalid files okay when job launch then exit status is failed and file is moved into failed directory so the same way that we just did it okay uh, like here actually i hate the copy paste but uh, for this but for this tutorial i want to make uh, everything more uh, faster so in that order, let's just use it like that. So let's call it by should fail and like this. So it also needs the sneaky throws, okay? And so for example, we need also uh, to give the, the job params, okay? So let me just copy this one here and put it here. So we need the content, okay? Five, what is that? Right string. So we need the content. We are going to do the same. We can just do it here very quickly in our utility class, okay? Let me just return. Once again, let's use the Java test blocks, okay? test box is very nice and we can just for example here create some invalid data so guys i have just created here some random data okay it doesn't matter so um it doesn't matter because it will fail okay so we have here some some name the john wick josh long nazir jones and so on and so what we are going to do here so we are going to to write okay uh, the same way that we just did here. So we are going to use the input file and we are going to use our, yes, sales, sales info, test data provider util, okay, that supply invalid content. So now that we have it, okay, we can also run the job and then we can now start doing the assertions, right? So, for this particular use case, we want the first thing is to check if the step, okay, if the step here, let's suppose the step that reads from file into database, okay, fails because we don't want to do uh, almost the same here. So let's let's just test, for example, a step, right? So in that order, let me first get the job execution, okay? We are going to get the step executions. 
and we are going to actually okay it's a stream okay now we are going to find using the filter we are going to filter uh, the step that reads from file into database let's go here the name of step okay i think this is the name of step right uh, from file into kafka so guys you you should understand why <laughs> i have here some differences okay go to the previous videos and you will understand i'm just reusing the i'm just reusing the the, the examples okay so here okay it's a string i think it's better equals ignore case okay and let's say uh nope it's not like this i think it's here so here we are getting step execution okay and then we are going to see if the step execution um if the step execution that get name okay if if we find some step with this name okay and now the next thing that we need to see i think we are going to see if any match okay um let's just use it like this for example uh, exit status okay exit status that failed yeah if exit say to that fail that get code okay is equals let's use it like this okay the 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 the, the step execution exit status state execution exit status code so this is it's not the same that we are we are doing here at job level okay but here we are going to the, the step and we are checking if the step exists and if exists okay we are going to check if this condition matches so it returns for us a um, boolean failed okay and now let's use the assertions okay so assertions that true okay we we are expecting that this um we are expecting that this evaluates true and we can also okay check because we if you if we go back here in our job okay we will see that when okay the job fails okay it fails right so in that order let's just use assertion that um here in this case equals and let's use once again the exit uh, status com uh, failed not complete but failed okay uh, let's check if it's equals job execution okay exit status so and also as we just provided um, invalid records okay we are going to tell um, we are going to check okay we are going to assert make sure that no uh, records okay uh, were inserted okay so in that order let's use the same approach let me just for example here copy okay and let's say okay zero should be equal of a total records insert okay and in as last thing that we need to do here is for example use let's say assertion true in order to see okay that file for example um, exists okay the expected fail directory exists okay and just uh, the same way that we did here okay of course we could reuse this okay not doing like this okay uh, but yeah for now we can just do it like this so it's expecting here to be a test okay so as we can see what we are doing here okay we are just testing the the the, the bad case and now let's run our test okay it passed okay if we run it in the bug mode okay we will see that here in our target okay we are going to let's suppose here let me put here here once again so if we refresh here we will see that actually our application is moving the file as we expect okay as we have here 
in our actual implementation. Of course, it's testing that because we are testing something that is already implemented, something that is already in production. But in good testing, the approach will be test-driven development. First, we test, then we run our tests. If it fails, okay, of course it will fail because there is no implementation. We implement it, run once again, the test passed, okay, and then we refactor, okay? So this is what we call by testing good and not testing bad. Remember, guys. So in that next video, we will do something very interesting, which is the test container with Spring Batch. But it will be integration test, not end-to-end -end test, okay, or unit test. So having it like this, uh, I think, yes, I think, I think we are getting there, okay? We are getting there. I'm just... I just show you guys how easy okay we can test our spring batch application this is end to end if you guys want a unit testing okay just leave in the comment section okay if this video get some something like um, 25 likes okay i will bring the unit testing okay testing every single component okay every single uh, bin that we have here okay in isolation so in order to make sure, okay, that both our tests are uh, running as expected, okay, we need to do, the first thing is run all the tests, okay, it passed, and now let's try to deliver our application, okay, let's suppose, okay, we are running, leaving clean install, okay, as we can see, we have everything here okay remember that if you have problem with database okay we are using the h2 which actually okay we have the dependency in our pom xml if you take a look here okay we have here the dependency and you can ask why we didn't for example create um the 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 bin of uh, data source okay of course you could create just in a test uh, configuration class, okay, a, a class annotated with test configuration, which is very nice. And you could just, for example, create there the bin for our uh, test, right? For our data source test, okay? But I think what we have here is very nice because we are not are coding here files to test because it will be a mess move there move there i don't i'm not telling that this is the 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 only way to do that but for me for my particular experience okay i like to do it like this because when for example as you can see here of course i could delete also the directory not only files okay but for example when i package my application okay it's it's clean okay i don't have here some files for my tests instead as i'm using as i'm using uh, as i'm creating small tests with small data okay i think providing the test data like this is nice okay and every single uh, file okay is created when the uh, when the test okay is running okay or before the test uh, is yes when the test is running okay and after and after that okay uh, I'm, I'm i'm cleaning right because uh, i want most of my tests to, to 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 run in isolation i don't want to have some for example uh, after a job okay after run, after the first test okay having some job executions okay of course every single use case requires different approaches okay but remember okay we are using the spring batch test we are using the spring j unit okay and also we are using the job launcher test utils the job repository okay we see here some of uh, its methods okay you can keep exploring more okay about that you guys you can see you can set the database you can create job and so on and yes guys i think i think this is nice and now we can move to the next episode related to testing bad and i hope that you enjoy and please 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 
leave your like okay and a comment just tell the part that you didn't understand let's talk okay i'm learning with you we are learning together okay let's go to the next video and hope that you uh, enjoy this session and this series of uh, testing bad so